Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm taking you through my quad day workout because quads have been a huge focus of mine and I've seen crazy results. So I kind of want to show you what I do in my workouts. All of my quad days follow a very, very similar structure, just doing different movements so I don't get bored. So we always start with a dynamic warm up. It's always a 10 minute flat walk on the treadmill and then some stretches. So here are some things I do, some lunges, all the things. And then I got my music on. If you're wondering, this is what I listen to. Okay, now into the workout. Always some kind of squat variation. Sometimes it's a hack squat. Sometimes it's a version of a regular back squat. But today we did heel elevated on the Smith machine. Using a machine for me just gets me better mind-muscle connection because I don't have to focus about any balance or anything like that. I can simply set up and just focus solely on feeling it in my quads. So here I am warming up with just the bar to make sure my feet are in the right position because with the Smith machine, sometimes it could be uncomfortable if your feet aren't in the right spot. So that's just what I'm doing here. Now that I figured out a good spot for my feet, I'm gonna throw on my first set of plates for another warm-up set. Keeping it still light for one more warm-up set, getting in a few reps to make sure it's comfortable with the added weight and see where I want to go from there with my working sets. Now I'm ready to get my real work in. So after this, I just slid on, I think, yeah, tens on both sides and got in my reps. We were going for four sets of 12 now. So those first two sets did not count. So here we go, four sets of 12, taking advantage of those heels elevated, going all the way down then we increased weight one more time for the rest of our sets to one plate on both sides challenging myself here really feeling the burn keeping it on the smith machine with the same weight i'm doing three by ten each leg reverse lunges guys these kill i always like to do a single leg exercise always some variation of a lunge so maybe reverse lunges forward lunges a bulgarian split squat anything with you know any type of machine i just like getting in single leg work to make sure i'm taking care of any muscle imbalances so both of my legs are equally as strong here i'm also pushing the weight it's really easy for me to just say i want to do 25s but we go with a plate and as you can see this is where i got tired because the pump cover has come off these are also going to get a little bit of glue action going but still really firing up your quads and trust me they kill you once again, I'm a big fan of using the Smith machine for this exercise because single leg stuff is, of course, a little wobbly. So when using a barbell, I like to be able to focus on the weight rather than focusing on the fact that I'm balancing a barbell on one leg. Obviously, the free weights have their place, but just for me and my specific goals, I really like the Smith machine for my reverse lunges. And friends, if you don't collapse to the floor like that after your set, I think you need to increase the weight. One of the worst parts about these leg days is that this gym has a lot of stairs. This is like an extra part of our workout. Okay, so after that, we went into this hack squat variation. If you have this machine, please use it. It might look easy because it doesn't really let you go totally full range of motion, but you don't understand the contraction in your quads is crazy. It is nuts. It's so hard. I think we set it to like 200 pounds and cranked out 4 by 12 on this. Here is me in a lot of pain, and here's me in my rest actually dying because that machine makes you unable to walk when using a machine like this for squats you want to make sure that you're basically going till failure as you can see this should be how you're feeling oh my god I now it gets fun people this is where we go into supersets and drop sets now that we're feeling like death so this first one was a superset we're doing heel elevated goblet squats with normal goblet squats so here we're just switching off we're doing 12 of each these kill do not underestimate and i wanted to include this clip to show you that when your heels are up you should be going ass to my fucking grass we did three by 12 of each for that super set and this was kind of kind of an exercise we had to wait for the leg press so we did this sissy squat challenge for tiktok so we kind of did a lot of sets of sissy squats for the tiktok i guess you could call it active rest 
Lastly, I do not do a quad day without leg extensions. This is basically the only movement that's going to target your quads by moving your legs in this direction. You know, it's the only one that's not a squat. So here we are doing three set drop sets. So we're doing three sets, but each set actually has three mini sets. So you're doing eight at a heavyweight, eight at a medium weight, eight at a lightweight, and that is one set. When I tell you that I actually want to cry during these, I'm not being dramatic. That is my hype song, by the way, for when I'm dying at the end of the workout, in case you wanted to know. Also, guys, in these clips, this lifting face, I am not being dramatic for the camera. That's actually how I look when I do these. Um, for reference, for the weight I'm using, you really want to push yourself. I start at about 100 pounds, then go down to about 70 or 60, then to about 40. 40 ish and that's what I do and please the sweat on the back of the chair is crazy and I should have known giving Sam the camera she would zoom into my crazy lifting face and of course calories don't matter that much but for reference over 500 calories in just under an hour is kind of nuts on a watch and the pump was always great the way these workouts always end is checking out the pump, taking selfies, and just kind of straight up dying in the locker room, and of course, chugging that water out of a hydro jug. Thank you guys so much for watching this workout. Um, good luck if you do it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!